The next year, Six on Your Side is sharing stories celebrating 100 years of women's suffrage, but not all populations felt the 19th Amendment the same way. Jessica Taylor joins us in studio with some of the stories of the unsung female heroes in Idaho's history. Dawn, I spoke with Senator Sheree Buckner-Webb, who said women are the fabric of what goes on in our communities. In fact, the Ronald McDonald House is a result of the Junior League she was part of during that time. She also spoke with me about the women of color who've come before her and contributed to the community activism, children's activism, and much more in our state's history. I see women's leadership everywhere I am. More opportunities exist since suffrage passed, though women of color aren't always seen in the spotlight. You know, it's Martin Luther King and Harriet Tubman. There's like four or five. You think there are only five people in the whole morass of, of African Americans that are around. I think it's really important that we make a purposeful uh, effort to understand people of color from all over the world that have contributed. Women like Dr. Mamie Oliver. And she was the first black tenured professor at Boise State University. She was also the first to capture and collect Idaho's black history specifically and put it in a book. And nobody had done that before. Other groups like the Athenian Club contribute to Idaho's history. Their emphasis was the pursuit of civil rights for women, especially women of color. Overall, the black population was so small, you didn't have this organized systematic institutionalized barrier to voting like you have in other uh, states histories. Um, you did, ha you do have issues of other minorities being systemically kind of left out of the foray, where it'd be like reservation life, whether it be a language issue. Cherie's son runs the Idaho Black History Museum. Their family has been in Idaho since 1905, collecting the narratives and anecdotes from communities they grew with since. We were able to contact other people, get their photos, get their information, get their stories, collaborate it with other people, and um, brought it all together. And Suffrage continues to be a big success for women, and Buckner Webb says it's important to never be complacent and use the history to propel all women forward. Our road, our journey has been one of, of some trials, but it's been one of triumph too. This centennial celebration of suffrage also falls during Black History Month. And if you want to learn more about the African-American women and men who have contributed in big ways to our state's history, the museum is a good place to start. You can find details on our website. Reporting in studio, Jessica Taylor, Six on Your Side.